Now, the, I, what I like about this is that there is a marking by the composer of crotchet equals 138, which would give us something like... <laughs> which is possibly the ideal tempo, but the, the uh, ABRSM does say here, although the composer's metronome mark is 138, students may prefer a slower tempo, for example, 96, which is, when you think about it, quite a discrepancy. It's quite a bit slower than the tempo that the composer has marked. So I'm going to go with the slower tempo, just because I think most people would probably end up playing it at the slower tempo. Let's look at, at some of the beauties of this piece and also some of the challenges it presents. So we see at the beginning, très léger, which means very light, which is leggero in Italian. Now we often find leggero marked in by composers such as Chopin, and they always write, Chopin always writes leggero as a word and then a big slur over the, the passage. Now, we will not play legato. This is the thing. It's a, a leggero or a light touch is a non-legato touch. So the way I would suggest beginning this is not like this, heavy, but staccato. We join the, the long notes. So I'm individuating each finger. I like to do this, which comes from my Russian training, is to pluck the key with a pizzicato finger. This is the way it looks. So my fingertip is on the keyboard, and when I'm ready, I pluck. I don't pull my arm out. The, the motion is done exclusively by the tip of the finger. making the note as short and as sharp as I can. In other words, I want focus. Connect. And you'll find that once you've developed that individuation of each finger, you can put a few of them together. Can you hear there? I've got my, my leggero touch. It's a staccato touch, but because it goes by so fast, it's not staccato like this. Really clean, um, clear, articulate sound. 